With no hope of finding survivors, the sense of urgency had gone. It was about finding bodies over a large expanse of ground in deep-set mud and flood water. Many of those found dead have been children. I may be alive, but my mom is gone. My son is gone. I'm not lucky. I feel so bad because the place has grown so much, but now we have nothing again. I will never have a good life again. At the local mortuary, there's an attempt at helping the bereaved, a counselling service. This man, whose wife is dead, expresses gratitude that his daughter somehow survived. They were able to rescue my child after the water subsided. She had hung onto a tree branch and was tired, but I thank God she is OK. Most survivors are engaged in one of three actions, identifying the dead, trying to settle in a makeshift camp for the displaced, or recovering what's left of their lives and their homes. It's a familiar, grim picture in so many parts of Kenya in this flood crisis. Even so, there are those who feel they're lucky. We thank God that we're alive even though we've lost everything. I'm grateful for my life and that my family was spared. All over the area, there was a controlled release of water from other dams. But local people still feel uneasy about risks. Kenya's Director of Public Prosecutions has ordered the Chief of Police to open an investigation. Local media are reporting that the Patel Dam was investigated by the National Water Resources Authority and deemed unsafe. But no action was taken, nor any follow-up by the authority. Aside from questions over this, there are seven other similar dams in the area, all of them used for irrigating the crops. From the air, it's clear to see the consequences of such a dam burst. But an Interior Ministry spokesman on the ground told Al Jazeera that no laws have been broken by the farm owners. Some people are claiming the number missing could be larger than the national disaster team is saying, because many bodies haven't been recovered. We've heard on the radio that 43 people are missing. I'm a local and I just don't believe it. We know it's over 200 people that are missing. And so, whatever the cause, whatever the numbers, the people of this rural district have to cope with their losses and somehow live in these grim conditions. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Garissa County in Kenya.